We can go for an example three right now, uh, which says that it's a three phase synchronous motor again of 8000 watts. And it is working at 1100 volts. Has a synchronous reactance of 8 ohm per phase. We have to find the minimum current and the corresponding EMF for full load condition. Uh, here we will be neglecting the armature resistance RA and the efficiency of the machine is given as 80%. So the efficiency is already given as 80% and we have to find the minimum current and the <coughs> corresponding EMF for full load condition. So, So, in this question, where to start? Where to start this question from? In this question, we have to find the minimum current, and uh, we know the current would be minimum when the power factor is unity, between the cos phi is 1. So, Current will be minimum when power factor cos phi is equal to 1. The power factor is unity is equal to 1. This is the only thing which will be giving us the exact way through the AMF and the minimum current. So, first of all, since the efficiency is given, we can find the input to the motor. This is the efficiency of the output. So, we can find the input. So, input to machine will be first to 8000 divided by 0.8, that is equals to 10 kilo watts. So, this is the input which will be coming to the machine. So from that, I can find the current also, I, which is equals to 1100 volts, sorry, it's a uh, eight, 10 kilo kilovolt photon means 10 into 1000 divided by, 10 kilovolt photon divided by your under root of 3, which is a 3 phase motor multiplied by 1100 volts multiplied by cos phi is 1. So the current would be 5.25 amperes. So this is the first answer which we were looking for the minimum current of the machine. So again uh, from the same thing from the triangle we can find the impedance drop. So first of all IZ drop I can find that is equals to 5.25 multiplied by 8 that is equals to 42 volts and this is in VL so I can find a V per phase which is equals to 1100 divided by 100 of 3 which will be giving me as 635.8 so Again, from the formula inducing one, I can find by uh, 
e per case that 635 plus 42 square that will be giving me because this would be like this I have to find EP and the current is unity cos 5 is 1 to 5 will be equals to 0 at that time I need to find this will be a uh, 5 triangle right now this will be 42 this would be 637 volts so I can find EP here so EP would be coming as under root of 635.8 square plus of 42 square which will be giving me E per phase will be as 637 volts. And this is the answer of the full loop condition. In the example number 4, we will be finding the power and then data for a synchronous motor such that it is a 400 volt 3 phase 50 hertz star connected synchronous motor. For example, 400 volt 3 phase 50 hertz star connected synchronous motor. has the rated armature current as 25 ampere IA is equal to 25 amperes the armature resistance is neglected and the XD and XQ are given the direct uh, access reactance and the quadrature access reactance are given as uh, 5 per ohm and 3.2 ohm per phase so XD and XQ are given as 5.2 ohm and uh, sorry 5 ohm and 3.2 ohm per phase so if the input is 10 kilowatt we have to determine the power angle delta for excitation voltage of 420 volts so the V is equal to 420 volts and we have to find the delta. So now how to do this question? It is somewhat the same question which we are doing till now, but it's somewhat a twist that the XG and XQ are XQ are given. It's not XG, it's XQ. Sorry. So since the current IA is given and the input is given. So I can find the indirect access current and from uh, direct access current I can find the uh, IQ also and from EP is equal to EP um, cos delta I can find the, uh, the uh, IP current uh, sorry EP also and from that we will be able to find the cos delta. So we starting start with the question that the current is 25 amperes which is also really given so we can find the input right now input would be input is 10 kilowatts so I can directly find the ID current that is the direct access current ID would be equal to uh, the 10,000 watt that is 10 kilowatt divided by my <coughs> under root of 3 into 420 volts that is 420 volts which is equals to 14.43 amperes this is the direct access current so I can find the quadrature access current also my formula IQ is equal to below this thing, all these things IK square minus of I B square. I is also given as 35 square minus of I is got 14.4 3 square and it will be under root so I can get IQ as 
24.42 amperes. So since I got IQ and IQ, uh, IQ and uh, ID, I can find EP now. We know that EP is equal to DP into cos delta plus of IA in I sorry ID into RA plus of I IQ into XQ. So the, the resistance is already neglected as I already said. So this would be like this. I can find IQ into XD directly. So here I can find EP as 420 by root 3 already given. So I can find the cos delta. EP, EP for phase is 420 by root 3 right now. EP is also given as 400 by root 3 multiplied by cos delta. We have to find and it's 400 volt are being given. So it would be 400 cos delta plus of IQ is as 20.42 multiplied by XG is already given. XQ sorry here XQ is also given 3.2. Now solving this I can find the cos delta. I can find the cos delta as 0 0.737, 0 0.737, and the delta will be equal to 42.52 degrees. 42.52 degrees. So from this, I can find the delta also. <coughs> uh, we can go for an example number 5 in which <coughs> the Vmax and Vmin are given. I max and I minimum are also given. V max and V minimum as 230 volts and 220 volts and uh, maximum current of 90 amperes and minimum current of 70 amperes. Of a machine, of a synchronous machine. So we have to find first of all the XD, then XQ, then short circuit ratio. This is a direct question you know, which is normally asked in objective type. So we are doing an objective type of question. So here the XD. By the slip test, we know is equals to Vmax by under root of 3 into I minimum implies I can get XD as Vmax is 230 volts divided by under root of 3 multiplied by I minimum that is 70 amperes which is by solving this I can get XDS 1.89. In the similar way I can find the XQ also which is equal to XQ is equal to V minimum divided by R root of 3 multiplied by I maximum implies V minimum is given as 220 and root of 3 multiplied by I max is given as 90 amperes so I can find the uh, XQ as 1.41 ohms coming to the short circuit ratio CR we know that short circuit ratio is equals to 
IF uh, at rated voltage on open circuit divided by IF on uh, rated uh, IF rated values on the short circuit, uh, which is also equivalent to one by XD. So already we have given XD. So SCR would be equals to inverse of XD, which is equals to one by one point eight nine, which is equivalent to 0.52. So I got all the things XD as 1.89 ohms, XQ as 1.14 1 1 1 ohms, and the short circuit ratio as 0.42.